Hi everyone, um, I want to introduce you to the Oskal cardigan, which is from the final installment of the Celtic Knits Club. Now, this was a really fun one to knit with. It's in the sap color of Jazz, and it was the first cable cardigan I've knit in a couple of years, or a heavily cable cardigan. And I really wanted to give as much detail as possible and to make the cables fairly intuitive. So I'm going to give you a little overview here. You start um, with the body in one piece. With cables, I like to start from the bottom up because that means that as you start decreasing up along here into your cables, you've already got all of your cables established so it's much more straightforward to know what's going on with it so it does really really helps with that uh, with the cable decreases is the is the main reason for it so you begin with ribbing with a smaller needle you set up your two front cables and you start doing these fishtail ones which i just love it just creates the most glorious texture then on the sides you've got just a side cable just a very simple staghorn one and on the back you've got this lovely big crisscross braided cable with with the um, fishtails on each side the larger sizes you've got two fishtails here and the same on each side of the front so um, that means that you don't have quite as much bare stockinette or reverse stockinette stitch you might if you see this particular cable here the two front ones is actually a modified version of this so it's taking half of each of that for each of the front cables i don't know if you can see that here but it's um they they're they're basically the same thing just separated out so as you come up through the body one of the things i've done here is in the middle of this cable we've started working increases to create an underarm gusset because there's no other shaping with the body and this is picked up from this point down so what we're doing is creating a couple of extra stitches here and so that actually means that you've got those at the very you pick those up for the very bottom of the sleeve so it makes a slightly more generous size to the top of the sleeve here and what that meant as well is I didn't go have to go quite as deep with the upper arm to make to make it a generous sleeve top. Front of it here has got v-neck shaping so your cables are decreasing as you work through there and then you finish at the top with a little bit of short rows to slope it and then you've got a three needle bind off. At that point you pick up stitches for the sleeve one at a time and work down again you've got the gusset stitches in underneath here and you've got one of the cables from the front down each side so the mirrored you've got a right and a left cable on each side and the very end we pick up stitches all the way around and work our buttonhole um, i haven't done it but if you like shawl collars you could also work a couple of short rows back and forth to create um, a folded shawl collar in the back. If anyone was interested in that, I could actually talk through the process. It's pretty straightforward, just a matter of, yeah, literally just working, starting at the middle of the back of the neck and then working a few extra stitches each time till you come down to around here. So you create this really nice big fold. It's not everyone's cup of tea. I do like it for warmth and winter. I find it really useful, um, but I thought that I'd start off with the plain, even just with the simple edging um, so that it would probably appeal to, to more people if they didn't like as much fabric around the neck. So enjoy your Oscar cardigan. Um, if you have any questions, just pop them in and I'm happy to answer them. Mm -hmm.